Let's welcome in the powerhouse panel. We start with former New York Congresswoman Nan Hayworth back on Wake Up with us this morning. Author and political analyst Mark Halperin is here and Project 21 National Advisory Board member Christopher Arps is with us. Uh, panel, good morning. Happy Monday to you. Great to have you all on. Uh, Mayor Pete went on paternity leave in August, paid paternity leave, which, by the way, this should not be an issue about paid family leave, which apparently is in Joe Biden's infrastructure bill. Mayor Pete did a heck of a job uh, on the Sunday shows, making the rounds, talking about paid leave. He is the transportation secretary. My thought is don't take a cabinet post if it's going to inhibit your ability to do your job. Here's Mayor Pete on why he took paternity leave and why he's been out since August. Take a listen. When somebody welcomes a new child into their family and goes on leave to take care of that child, that's not a vacation. It's work. It's joyful, wonderful, fulfilling work. But it is work, and it's time that our nation join pretty much every other country in the world and recognize that. Uh, Mark, I, I agree with that. You're a dad. I'm a dad. What, what do you make of those comments, given what we're dealing with right now with the supply chain crisis? I mean, I think this is, for the most part, much ado about nothing, except the fact that if you're cabinet secretary, probably a little bit more transparency would have been good. Uh, so people could be confident that other people at the department were handling his workload while he was gone. But otherwise, I think, wish the new parents well and move on. Nan, do you agree with Mark? Mark says handling his workload while he was gone. He's been on the job for less than nine months. Maybe it's time to get behind the desk and do your job here. Millions of people are affected by every decision you make. And we're, we're bearing the fruit of that right now. We're dealing with a crisis that we haven't seen in 30 years. No, Rob. Uh, and when the secretary says, well, I have been working. Yes, you have been working, but not on a problem that affects every family and every child in the country. Don't take the job unless you are capable of doing the work. Everybody wishes you well with your family, but when you are a cabinet secretary, uh, I know because I'm a doctor. Uh, so, you know, there are certain jobs that require that you make sacrifices of time, of effort, uh, certainly of sometimes of family responsibilities. So. Uh, the secretary should either get on the job immediately because clearly it's not being handled uh, or, uh, you know, find somebody who can. Yeah. Yeah. Chris, what would you make of this? This almost I thought it was just a very blatant attempt to deflect the attention off of him and onto paid family leave. And, and you know, typically moms in this country get time off, but dads don't. That's it. That's a struggle. It was a struggle for me. I've got two kids. I took a week off with both and then I was back to work. He's been off since August. Um, but quite frankly, look, I think it's wonderful that he's a dad. He and his husband, um, they've got twins. Uh, but people are, are dealing with this where it hits them the most and affects them the most. And that's in their bank accounts. People don't really care about that right now. They want to know why stuff's not on store shelves. Let me play a quick soundbite. Mayor Pete says that demand is now through the roof, and that's the big problem with store shelves. Take a listen. Part of what's happening isn't just the supply side, it's the demand side. Demand is off the charts. Retail sales are through the roof. And if you think about those images of uh, ships, for example, waiting at anchor on the West Coast, you know, every one of those ships uh, is full of record amounts of goods that Americans are buying uh, because demand is up, because income is up, uh, because the president has successfully guided this economy out of the teeth of a terrifying recession. Chris, do you believe the transportation secretary is demand up? Is that why store shelves are bare? I think that's part of it, but I think it's a big, bigger, much bigger problem than that. You know, Rob, when we talked about this last Monday about uh, Secretary Buttigieg being AWOL and, and Newsmax tweeted that out, your quote, if you remember, you were pilloried all over Twitter about saying that uh, he was not qualified for the job. And many folks were saying that you were homophobic, that those were homophobic comments because you're just asking a question. Most people in, in Washington that follow government know that the department heads, cabinet secretaries don't really want run the uh, run the departments. The deputy secretary does. But the fact that he was absent for two months and nobody knew about that is a problem. And it just seems that a pattern of people that are in this administration, when things are going bad, they seem to go AWOL. Especially Did they, they say that about me, system. Chris, by the way? Was that me that you were referencing? Yes, I don't remember pissed. that. I remember questioning. So CNN, we, we, we've shown you the uh, the the article, but, you know, he managed a city, South Bend, Indiana. Um, he was the mayor there. They have 47 buses. Now he's in charge of, a, of a, the, the biggest transportation infrastructure system on the planet. Uh, and I think the question's now, hey, maybe I was right. Right. I think you're, you're making that point. Maybe I was correct. I, 
Mark, um, I, look, I, I think that store shelves being empty in the spring of 2020 and store shelves being empty right now are two totally different things. I don't think demand was up. I think when we were running out of toilet paper in the spring of 2020, people were dealing with a, a, a pandemic, the beginning of a pandemic. We didn't know anything about it. We still thought that, you know, people were wiping down their groceries when they got home. People, stores being short on Ninja Turtles for the holidays right now has nothing to do with the demand for Ninja Turtles or pick your item because there are shortages on almost everything that you buy on a weekly basis at, at big box stores and, and small businesses around this country. I think they're totally different. Three quick points. One is Chris and I monitor your Twitter mentions a lot more closely than you do. So Fair rest no. assured. <laughs> Rachel, did you see any of that? Second, I don't remember that. It, oh. it's, it's the doubling of the price of bacon that really should be the focus of America's attention and above meat. all these other things. Yep. Finally, more seriously, look, part of it is an increased demand coming out of the pandemic. Part of it is that this country does not have the best infrastructure uh, and, and, and there's some systemic problems. But part of it also is people panic. When you hear you're not going to be able to get Christmas presents, you start buying them now. And that, that mismatch between supply and demand is something that can't be just left on autopilot. Somebody in the government is going to have to figure out how to deal with this. And the Biden administration has been slow to address it. And they're paying the price for that right now. Yeah, interesting point. Nan, um, just a quick question. As a physician, uh, Dr. Fauci was on yesterday saying that the unvaccinated could cause a fifth wave. Do we even do we even listen to what he has to say anymore? We have about 30 seconds. Uh, alas, I don't. Look, a fifth wave could come, but we know, unfortunately, there's ample evidence that the vaccination currently available uh, does not prevent infection with new variants of COVID. So we're all going to have to learn to live with this. Uh, and the key thing we need to do to get products back on the shelves is get Americans back to work. It is time to return to life in full. Yeah, I'm with you. And by wow. the way, why would he say the unvaccinated? What about the people that are crossing the border illegally every single day who are not only unvaccinated, but they're not being tested? Why not blame it on that group? Why blame it on Americans? Dr. Fauci continually does this and did it again yesterday. Panel, we'll pick this back up top of the hour. Good way to start. New week here on Wake Up America. Uh, Chris, I don't remember that, but now I'm going to deep dive my own Twitter. Uh, to, and I got a to, question to for see you. That. How about them boys? Who the, how about the who's? How about them boys? Who, the Cowboys? Cowboys. Yeah, that was, that was yeah. terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> but you know what? Again, one of the best Patriots losses I've seen. This young quarterback, Mac Jones, is going to be good. He's the real deal. Uh, panel, we'll pick this back up top of the hour. Chris, thanks for bringing that up. Twice, salt on the wound.